Good evening and welcome to the second episode of Blue Suede News. So uh, I'm Roger Poulter, your host, and I'll bring your guest comedians on straight away. We have George Copen. We've got Katie. Hi. And we've got Tony Cowards. <laughs> so uh, uh, welcome to the show. And uh, what I'm going to go, I'm going to get each of our comedians to introduce themselves first. So we'll start with George. Do you want to say hello, George? Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got a few seconds. Just say a few bits about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm George Coppin, a uh, dwarf actor and comedian. I've been doing comedy for about two years and acting for about three years, and I'm the funniest person on the panel tonight. Go any further, can I just ask you about this, George? Oh, no, I know it's coming. <laughs> I knew mean, that was fucking coming. <laughs> I, I seem I'm to so have someone hitting the drum on my picture. Yeah, well, my backdrop. Uh, well, basically, what that's about is Roger and I had a party about two weeks ago. And <laughs> 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 uh, no, I was in a music video f- filmed a few weeks ago for a guy called uh, Bugsy Malone. Don't worry, I've never heard of him either. And it got released about last week. And yeah, one of the very weird things I had to do was uh, bang a drum while looking like uh, Dennis the Menace's long lost cousin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's uh, go to Tony next. Do you want to introduce yourself, Tony? Hello, yes. Um, my name is Tony Cowards. Um, my motto in life, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's important to have a motto. Mine is always give 100%. Everything I do, I like to give 100%, which does, of course, make blood donation quite tricky. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. And let's bring in uh, Katie Brown. Hello, yeah, I'm Katie, and um, that I'm just me, really. I am a burlesque host and comedian, and um, just desperate for any form of, of performance, which is why we're all sat here now. <laughs> Long <laughs> time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just oh. <laughs> yeah, before we move on to the uh, next round, we do have a few people watching already. So, uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> so there we go Alex Lean we've got Michael Griffiths hello hi. Michael hi Michael Manchester and City we've got our first YouTube uh, viewer Al Grant hi Al hi mate so evening to you all uh, hopefully others will join us as we carry on so uh, anyway let's move on Towards the first round, uh, what well, basically I should have, I should say uh, to the uh, people watching, and I've still got Al Grant's comment on the screen. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, we need to get rid of him. <laughs> I've, I've been that for ages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's gone. <laughs> he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> just won't go. You can't get rid of Al Grant. <laughs> I must hey. have had a bit of a lag on my screen. Hey, you'll probably come back on in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, we're going to talk through uh, some of the news from the last seven days or anything else people want us to talk about. So we have a section where we can talk about what the viewers suggest. So we'll move on to the first round, as I call it, although I don't know why I call it a round. It's not a game show. Points need, mean nothing on Roger's Blue Suede News <laughs> because, you know, I don't really have a winner, but I will nominate some of you as doing particularly well throughout the show. Uh, so, uh, what's the story? The first round. Morning Glory. So, what the story, morning glory. Now, during the week, I was thinking of several things. I was thinking, should we talk about the vaccine? And then I thought, no, we can, we're can. we probably going to be talking about the vaccine throughout the show. Um, I thought, should we talk about the American elections? Now, they finally seem to have selected a winner, although <laughs> Trump supporters seem to keep telling me <laughs> that it's in the courts and Biden's probably not going to win. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what happens there. 
So uh, I just I just love American politics. They don't know when to give up, do they? Anyway, uh, so but then the news overtook us a little bit. So let's go really topical. Here's a joke I put on Facebook earlier. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so we're going to be talking about the departure of Dominic Cummings. So uh, who would like to go first? Shall we go to Katie first? Oh, I, I wish you hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm always picked last for everything, and I really Welcome thought that. Welcome to my I'd world. Get... <laughs> 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 um, well, well, well it, I mean, it, yeah, I do like your joke. I've just read it. It made me laugh more than any of my material ever has, Roger. And considering <laughs> you get, you, you're the king of the groans. I've never. <laughs> never um, that was quite impressive. But, yeah, no, I, I just, yeah, good riddance. He's gone. There'll be another Muppet to take his place. <laughs> Boris is still there. Yeah. I mean. Uh, well, actually, I mean, it, it came as a surprise to me because you say another Muppet will take his place, but I always thought Boris Johnson was his Muppet. Well, yeah. yeah. He is He's, king of it. You had the hand up who, it would be him yeah, or Boris right. Johnson. <laughs> Yeah. So, Eric, Tony, do you want to come in on this story? Yeah, well, I'm just, I'll am just i just be interested to see how many papers tomorrow go with the headline Cummings and Goings or something. something like <laughs> hey. Oh, brilliant. There it is. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I actually used that comment on a uh, Have I Got News For You post for earlier today. Well, you've done it as sick well. of all the Cummings <laughs> and Goings. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before they actually announced the news. They announced he was going by Christmas. Well, obviously, they've started Christmas early in 10 Downing Street. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Got my jumper. It's Christmas jumper. Yeah, yeah. it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Right. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. George. Well, oh, sorry. I was just going to say that. Oh, yeah. Trouble is, is he's done a he's done a bit of a David Cameron, hasn't he? Is I mean, I'm not sorry to see him go, but he's um he's going before like all the trouble, all the shit hits the fan, really, isn't he? So uh, yeah, goodbye to him, but. Shame, uh, shame we can't reverse some of the things he's done. Sorry, that wasn't funny, it was just a <laughs> <laughs> as in driving backwards to Barnard Castle, yeah, yeah. If only you could reverse back, and take yeah. It the one yeah, thing so, I'm uh... really praying doesn't happen is because obviously he's left, and with I'm a celeb starting next weekend. I'm really hope he's not one of the last ones that go in, you know, they always have like two later on, and I'm like. That would be a scoop for him, wouldn't it? But when uh, it was announced about him leaving, I could hear uh, the spitting image writers quickly writing something brand new for tomorrow's show. Yeah. <laughs> they probably have him leaving on a, on a UFO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what gets me, I mean, you look at that picture, what a shit you know, job of a leaving present they've done. They've not even wrapped it. There's <laughs> <laughs> probably a big turd in that. <laughs> what, but is it his by uh Boris's <laughs> girlfriend yeah yeah with, with glasses on it <laughs> it just reminds it's me it's like seven of, uh, it's reminds... boris's head in a box yeah like like, i'm just gonna say that yeah it's like the end scene isn't it <laughs> okay. don't look in the box don't look in the box <laughs> Yeah, it's probably it's probably his uh, his vaccine. Anyway, uh, let's keep off that subject for now. <laughs> the next prime minister's question is going to be awkward. Then if that is it in that box, <laughs> right? <there you> go. <laughs> Get more sense out of him. They might even that manage to brush his hair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Dominic Cummins has got something in common with the vaccine, isn't it? He's just a little prick. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, I like that people one. don't want it. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Sorry, first, first one of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have sound effects. Well, hey. <laughs> I thought you'd so, say uh, All right, that's that's uh, us through the uh, first round. We'll just have a quick glance at the comments because we've had some more comments in. Ooh. So, uh, uh, oh. We have Alex Lean. He's watching on YouTube as well. <laughs> so, uh, yep, I should have spotted a little YouTube thing next to him. So, uh, um, we've uh, we've we've got some uh, crying with laughter emojis already. Hey. 
Thanks, Michael. <laughs> so, and uh, at least one yeah, person nice, is laughing. Uh, we've got a nice nomination for, for one of my show catchphrases. What <laughs> <laughs> points me? Fuck all. Fuck all. all. Fuck all. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, uh, oh, a pound, a contour grant it should right, be Muppet, it should be Puppet. <laughs> <laughs> He's a puppet. So, uh, I have to say, if Al says it is so, then it is so because yeah. he he's quite intimidating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, we've, we've had a comment comment from Alex. We've gone up on the screen because I I think it's so true. <laughs> that is that is impressive lockdown Tash. Thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, I'm going for one of my yo. Know, uh, money is. Uh, let me let me just get rid of uh, Dominic off the screen. That's better, isn't it? I'm going to go for one of my expenses. You know, are no no challenge on this show. Titles for the rounds. So, are you ready for the next round? Making it. We're on the faking it round. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to apologise to Katie because I'm going to come to you first again because that's the way I've written the script on this. <laughs> so I do apologise. Who would have thought this was planned? <laughs> so, uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to each of you in turn with a story. The stories are either fake news or they're factual. Okay. And you've got to find the real stories from the fake ones. And we get a point, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But they mean fuck all, you're right. Mean anyway, fuck all. So uh what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to rearrange the screen a little bit. Oh. There you go. And I'm going to give you a uh, picture so you can see what we're talking about. We are talking about the moo. <laughs> Residents in the town of Belper are mooing again. They mooed at the last lockdown and they're mooing at this lockdown. Half past six every night, two minutes of mooing. It's meant to relieve the <laughs> lockdown stresses in life. Fact or fiction? Um, in, in that not far from your neck of the woods... Yes, that's why I've given it to you. <laughs> yeah, to, well, I, I could just picture you stood outside giving it a move. <laughs> Roger, isn't that you in the big picture? <laughs> no, that, that is the head mooer. He starts to moo off every day. Moo off. Roger. That's really hard to say. Roger, what time did you say they do it at a particular time? Half past six every day. Oh, and there should, are, they there have are some residents who live next to a field and they get cows coming across to their house as they're mooing. So oh, they moo to, to call the cows to them? No, they moo to relieve the stress of lockdown. The whole town moos for two but, minutes, half past six every day. But then the cows come to them. It like Yeah, calls because they're thinking, who the bloody hell's mooing at this time? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they're not doing it. I fucking o'clock. thought that was Sheila. Um, <laughs> they should have been doing it at 10, didn't they? The moves at 10. <laughs> oh. That's why you wanted to know the time. Oh. oh, do you know what? I am so out of my league with you lot. Um, I, I just get my tits out on stage and, and here's uh-huh. you doing proper jokes and stuff and I'm just there. I don't... Um, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> we've got off track. I'm gonna say <laughs> it is true. You yeah, like yeah. to moo in I Belper. True. I reckon true. I mean, it's dark here for you. It is true. Every, <laughs> <laughs> every day in <laughs> Belper, <laughs> the residents do a two-minute moo. I've been to Belper and I can well believe it. <laughs> well, oh, no, I was there now. for a gig just before lockdown 2.0, and yeah, I, I agree. Did yeah. you moo? I didn't moo. I got quite a lot of moos. Oh. Or maybe m- maybe they were booths. Were you in a yeah, field? Well, this is a moo show anyway. <laughs> Please tell me you got footage of them doing it. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Right. Who shall go to first? Uh, uh, next. I think we'll go to George next. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm going to go to George next. Here's the picture. With Coca-Cola not doing the Coca-Cola lorry Christmas this year on the national tour, Yorkshire Tea have decided to take their Yorkshire Tea float round Yorkshire on the run-up to Christmas. They're going to decorate this with Christmas trees and put a Santa on it, and they're going to drive round Yorkshire handing out little Christmas boxes of Yorkshire Tea. <laughs> I've just got an image now of Sean Bean on the flow with the sword they had in the ad. <laughs> yeah. Do it for Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Yeah. Yorkshire tea. Drink Yorkshire tea, you <laughs> bastards. Drink it proper, like. To, That's to what you're doing. Thing. <laughs> I'm going to go oh, fake. 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 Yeah. You're right. I made it up. Oh. Didn't they do something like that before, though? Or was that not Yorkshire tea? Somebody, like a big strong tea bag, people went round in a in a cabin and fed people tea. Was it Johnny? Yeah, Bates they had. The a, they've got an ice cream van that does it. A <laughs> ice cream van, and they take it to uh, fates and things like that round Yorkshire. Yorkshire, Yorkshire, okay. and the tea. But basically, I just made that one up. It's bit, it was very okay. believable, though. I could believe it happened. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do out in Yorkshire. That, that's <laughs> the idea of the round, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tony. You got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> All anyway, right, shall we come to you, Tony? Yeah, go on then. I'll be terrible at this because I can never tell when anyone's faking it. Right, <laughs> you can tell. This place yeah. is cold, but it's not cold enough. The new vaccine has to be stored at minus 80 degrees. What you're looking at is probably somewhere like the North Pole, which averages minus 40 degrees. Whoa. Did you take a photo off somewhere and not know what it was and then say it's probably somewhere like the North Pole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rather than it's, just it's... getting a photo of the North Pole? <laughs> well, there isn't actually a pole at the North Pole, so you wouldn't know whether to... If you see a photo of the North Pole... It's fate. <laughs> I don't know. That little lumpy bit looks like it could be a pole. <laughs> Climate change, it's shrunk. <laughs> it's just cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold yeah. it we won't find any dancing around that pole then, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Not um, that one, no. Who, so, so this, so, so hang, hang on a minute. So this vaccine, how, how are they going inject, to inject it to us if it's got to be at minus 80? They give it, it has a lot to be stored at minus eight. There is a small I mean, window. <laughs> there is a small window when they can take it they out of the minus eight and window. then inject it into people. But it's a very small window, and well, it like warms it not to actually kill you. <laughs> like a McDonald's drive-by, you go. What do you want? Two vaccines, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't have man at room temperature. <laughs> yeah. So, like, yep. <laughs> how is it, how, I, yeah, I don't understand the ins and outs of this. How's it? How's it going to be stored? Can you store stuff like well, that? that sure. That's the problem. I mean, uh, I believe Scotland's ordered 20 super freezers right. to store this thing in. What no. our government is doing, I don't know. I, mean, I know where they're going to put it. With it's the obvious. PPE and everything. It's, uh... no, it's, obvious, it's, obvious, it's obvious where they're going to put it. They're going to put it in Katie Hopkins' house. It's cold <laughs> enough in there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. I think that's the picture. Well, thing it's quite think, cold in there at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Her dragon breath would right. cross it though. Anyway, <laughs> come on, fact or fiction? Uh, uh, I'm going to go with fact. You're correct. It's it Whoa. is a fact. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, thinking about the freezers they need for this vaccine. I mean, uh, they're going to be they're going to be flying it from America to the UK daily. And they've got to get special permission from the CAA because it has to be shipped in dry ice to keep it at minus 80. And the problem is, if the packaging fails, it would flood the plane with CO2 and kill the pilots. So they have to have oh, all these safety pirates. things on, like CO2 sensors and things like that, <laughs> and oxygen, in case, you know, to stop it killing the pilots if they actually uh, have a bumpy landing. Pilots, George. Oh, pilots. Pirates. <laughs> no, pilots. Oh, yeah. pirates. If only Tom Hanks 
Tom Hanks and had some dry ice my, on that my, boat. <laughs> talking about pirates, the uh, the vaccine should bring down the R rate. Hey. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so You're welcome, so Roger. It's going to be stored in dry ice, is it? So they can so they can give you the vaccine and you can pretend you're on stars in their eyes at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I want to know is when they right, get to Matthew, this country, I'm going to be vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 they actually go to this country and they put in one of these super freezers, will Boris try to hide in it? What makes it super? Has he got a cape? <laughs> There's there's not many freezers get down to that temperature. Your wall's ice cream will be hard as hell. Uh... <laughs> I mean, bloody hard snowball fight. <laughs> <laughs> Might be great if they're vaccinating people over the summer because you'd be able to put in your drink before they vaccinate you. <laughs> I love that vodka, vodka martini, two vaccines, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway... Let's uh, where, where am I on my uh screens? Oh, so, yeah, just uh, got to him. He doesn't know where he is. I know, I don't know where I am or what <laughs> I'm doing. So, that's fine. Anyway, it's age, Roger. It's I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's uh, let's go back to this screen for now and have a look at some more of the comments, shall we? Has that changed? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I seem to have a time lag on my screen. <laughs> 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 so uh yeah alex is taking uh taking the piss out of my sean you know try to do a sean bean impersonation i know he's the king of the sean bean they're close together okay. uh, we, got, interchangeable some... uh, i'm gonna put i'm gonna put this one on the uh screen i think it relates to the moose story uh. well Sorry about that. Right to fuck it. So, uh, uh, right, uh, here we, what, what's that? It's, uh, you know, I think uh, Al's talking about the cold here. Scars in your thighs. No, he's talking about stars in your eyes, isn't he? Yeah. Scars in your thighs. Like scars in your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway let's move on to our next round which of course uh bear with me while you uh, that has gone off the screen hasn't it now yeah yeah right, so uh, I'm, I'm beginning to doubt myself <laughs> 10 points to roger <laughs> Okay, I've got another intro to my round. Uh, on, on these intros, I got the people from last week to provide some of the voiceovers. Okay, so you may recognise some of the voices. I do have a round later on which hasn't got a voiceover. So we'll be asking you all to, to attempt the voiceover and we'll see who's best. Okay. We won't get any points because on this oh, show, yeah. points mean... Points mean fuck, fuck all! all. <laughs> Prat of the week. I like to think that donkey was Alex as well. I, I was just going to say that. How did you get Alex yeah. to squeak like that? <laughs> oh, very oh, easily. You, you just have to squeeze him. <laughs> just rub him. <laughs> <laughs> Buy him a few drinks. <laughs> Actually, have, have you all got a cuddly toy? Because if you brought it, you can squeeze it. I feel there really we weird doing this. Like this is some very You can't strange... squeeze a cat, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, children, we've all got toys. Come along, children. <laughs> I better that win, Roger, or the kitten gets it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's move on to Pratt of the Week. I'm going to give you all... I better get my timer ready. So uh, uh, I'm going to give you all 60 seconds when I introduce you... Uh, to justify your Pratt of the Week. Okay? The oh, first one I'm doing is an order in which they provided to me. Okay? So the first one for Pratt of the Week is... There was a gambler in America 
who betted on Trump to win and betted a serious amount of money. And for this, I'm going to start your 60 seconds now, George. Uh, George will justify why he's the Pratt of the Week. Off you go. Well, he's Pratt of the Week for two reasons. One, why would he put that much money on somebody? Two, why would he vote for Donald Trump? So double Pratt of the Week. And who has that much money and goes, what the fuck? I know, I'm going to put it all on Donald Trump that week to win the election when everyone knew he didn't have a chance in hell. So twice the Pratt, twice the chance of winning, it beats everybody else because he's the greatest pad. He's the greatest pride of all the time. He, he made Pratt cool again. You know, he, he made Pratt great. He's the greatest pride of all time. I look up to him a lot. He's the greatest pad, greatest Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> You've got another 19 seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do that for another 19 seconds. <laughs> He's the greatest pad. I love him. He's the greatest pad. Ten, I look ten seconds. Me, you know, I wish I could be a pad like him. You know, I could wish I could be a big pad, but I'm just not a big pad that he is. He's the greatest pad. He made Brian and great again. You know, he made Ben and, ben and great again. He had that much money. That's your time. Yeah, well done. Thank you. <laughs> I, I uh, quite enjoyed that. So, uh, I, okay. So, we've, <laughs> so our first nomination is the person who betted on Trump. So his name wasn't Trump, was it? Why? Yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah. Far okay. Farage, Nigel Farage put. <laughs> <a 10 laughs> <pounds> <laughs> <laughs> what that? What is that about? Fucking Farrah. No, he, he did he genuinely put ten thousand pounds. I don't I, it. I just don't get how they're friends. <laughs> he, well, they're both idiots, aren't they? Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but they're <laughs> idiots that travel in very different circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the the second uh, person to supply me with their prat of the week was Katie. Anti-vaxxers, your 60 seconds starts now. Okay, this isn't specific to COVID anti-vax, although they are knobheads as well. But like in general, anybody that isn't willing to protect themselves from a disease that will kill them and everybody else, because Barbara on Facebook said it's not very good for you, <laughs> they all should all just be put in one room and then everyone else can be protected. They can all be just killed. Killed, gassed, whatever, you know, it's it's been done in history to the wrong people, but now perhaps we can do it to the right people. Um, and yeah, I did, I can't take credit for this, but somebody did say, you won't take a vaccine that's been put together by scientists, but you will snort crack or smoke <laughs> crack. <laughs> that, that has been put together by someone called Kev with no teeth. And I think that says it all, really. <laughs> I know I've got more time, but I, I just, I mean, it speaks for itself. Just, it's a disease that's killing everybody. And, and like, proper, ah, oh. thank Very thanks. good. Yeah, uh, I, I take it's not in cracking some sort of weird sexual fantasy. <laughs> not <laughs> one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Get a look so, at your Roger's mind here. I, yeah, I, yeah, it is concerning. Yeah. After he's had his toys out to try and learn <laughs> the children, he's growing. <laughs> Roger, it's okay. We're all friends here. You can tell us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see you on the bat anti vaxxers I mean, in terms of the COVID vaccination, of course, the government has already spent over £100 million on PR about the vaccine. <laughs> right, that's their PR expenditure on the vaccine. You'd think, you know, it, it must be the most expensive viral marketing campaign ever. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm, it'll I'm not be like stop. the Brexit, the Brexit marketing, where every month they had to do a new ad campaign, <laughs> every single month, and it'll be the same with this. It will be like, right, we've got the vaccine, and then a month later, right, only one person's foot fell off, and everyone else is still all right, <laughs> and then a month hurt. later. <laughs> It's all right because they were only you. care home people that died, so it's fine. <laughs> Make sure you're not old when you take it. Yeah, Don't I'm saying. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's uh, let's move on to the last Pratt of the Week nomination, which came from Tony, and his 
Trash of the Week. Uh, I'm going to call it the Trump uh, campaign. Right? <laughs> but of course, this this photo is from a specific scene. To tell you more, <laughs> I'm going to give Tony 60 seconds. <laughs> well, first, first of all, I just want to check. Did, it, did everyone kind of see this news story? <laughs> um, basically, um, someone, I don't know who quite is the Pratt of the Week, whether it's Trump or Giuliani, his spokesman, or um, whoever, but it's basically whoever booked the venue for this speech, wasn't it? Because uh, basically they reckon they were trying to book the Four Seasons Hotel in Philadelphia, um, but someone had actually booked Four Seasons Landscape Gardening uh, Warehouse <laughs> um, by accident. And brilliantly, it was uh, not just that it was outside a, a, a garden landscaping warehouse, but it was in between a crematorium and uh, a s shop that sold sex aids, apparently. But to be fair, I've nominated them as the the uh, Pratt of the Week. I mean, as comedians, we've all done gigs like these, haven't we, that have, um, that have massively over-promised, and we thought, oh, that sounds amazing, and we turned up and it's been outside the toilet covering <laughs> Croydon. Um, so, uh, oh, there we go. Well, well, that's uh, that's your sixty seconds up on the face, Tony. I mean, uh, I love the fact that there's it's probably a security person looking at how wide he is stood in front of two hose pipes. <laughs> <laughs> they might go um, off at any moment. What, did, what did, made this the, story? did everyone see the the other great bit about this though? Because um, Giuliani was obviously. Uh, defending Trump and saying that um, it was the media that had, that had anointed Biden as the winner, and he asked them that, uh, and the reporter was telling him that it'd been uh, declared as the winner by by the, the TV networks, or, and uh, and uh, um, Giuliani asked them which one, and like all the reporters shouted back, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's, yeah, so he basically, this is he's where... declared the winner by everyone except for you. <laughs> yeah, but this basically happened during this press conference in that all the networks declared Trump the winner. Yeah. Not Trump. What I love so, about, uh, about that photo is the guy between the hoses looks like he's got picked a jacket this morning that was too small and he looked like he's trying to keep it on without it popping out. <laughs> like, definitely trying to do it up without it I ripping. just had a really big lunch. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. out of Mexico. <laughs> and and there is there is no entry sign in the windows that to keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> They're all blue. I'm surprised there's not someone waving a, a Biden flag out the window. Uh, you know the numbers at the top. Is that how many votes Trump got? <laughs> <laughs> so uh... even his campaign's confused though. He's got blue posters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. So vote for uh, Biden. I don't be a great friend and never vote for Biden. <laughs> yeah. So you do that, and I'll do my I'll do my Boris Boris Johnson. <laughs> we can have our own meeting. <laughs> um, hey, go out, go All those posters in the background there, they they, they looks like the worst game of snakes and ladders ever, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know to say politicians are always slippery as snakes anyway. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a game of Connect Four that Donald Trump's refused to lose, even though red won the blue won aid the go. Like, no, carry it on, carry it on. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh looking looking at these three choices, it's actually for me a very difficult choice. But purely because you ought to go and see the video of the Four Seasons fiasco because there's a video on YouTube which tells the story <laughs> brilliantly, which I'm not going to rip off, but go and watch it. It's brilliant. I'm going to nominate the Pratt of the Week and purely because of all you know, them saying, we've won, we've won, it's all a fix. The Trump campaign is the Pratt of the Week. So well done, Tony. <laughs> Oh, well, well deserved. Well deserved. Oh, no. I'm not going to award you any points because on this show, points mean fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what I'll, uh, what we'll do, we'll uh, shall we, shall we have a look at some more of the comments? So, uh, mm. let me just rearrange my screen so they look a bit nicer, and uh, we will go and have a look. Uh, um. So, uh, oh, here we go. Alex is claiming 
<laughs> it's claiming the donkey noise. <laughs> so uh, uh, Al Grant says, I think we've all been vaccinated against 5G. <laughs> right. And Alex is actually criticising me for rim-shotting myself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, if you watch, quite a skill. If, yeah, if you, if you watched last week's show, I think Alex is trying to actually corner the rim-shot myself <laughs> because George suggested it as the name of his autobiography. <laughs> I'll do the foreword for you, Alex. <laughs> so... Uh, um that that's is that a euphemism george i'll let you decide that <laughs> <laughs> do we need to just go now and let you two carry on with this uh, <laughs> sexual dalliance that's going on i feel like tony and me are very much four yeah. wheels you, on no, this no, you're m- very much part of it now you, no, okay. <laughs> so thanks <laughs> no worries okay. mate <laughs> it's it's at this point where i'm I would like our viewers, all six of them, to take their clothes off. <laughs> to, uh, well, that would make a difference because they're not on the screen. They might have the clothes off already. <laughs> that's, that's a nice thought. I mean, I know. I mean, we're all naked from the waist down, aren't we? I mean, I know where. Yeah. <laughs> that's just so, you went loo before you came on, isn't it? You went back to white. <laughs> It was a pre- pressure poo and you didn't have quite enough time. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, if anyone's watching, please comment on a new story you would like us to do. So, uh, and this round is called The Good, The Bad, and The Utterly Stupid. Oh, that's scary. That last picture is scary. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to go to the comments see if we've got any requests already. Uh, okay. Um, so, well, Al Grant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you know that, what? That... Out of everybody that was going to say it, I, I'm not surprised it was Al. Oh, me neither. I know he's actually <laughs> yeah. lying. I believe he's been naked the full the whole time. <laughs> but how would you know is. with that beard? Oh, and Alex, lovely. <laughs> There's an image. Now, you, you think two people have played along on this show last week? And Are I they say... Trying get, they trying to get it changed to Roger's blue suede nudes. Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a fit well on those other porn channels like BBC Nudes 24. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, uh, like the seven dicks. Yeah, that, that <laughs> channel's got nothing on it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, when, when you say to your audience, can you suggest a news story which we can do? And none of them, oh, actually, 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 we've got a news yeah, story. Breaking news. So, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. York, Yorkshire Ripper, dead. Yeah. Here we go. Let's so, take a uh, piss out of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice light subject. Let, that let's screen. look at Don't it. Laugh. Oh. It's it's the first first one of the week where someone's died who's been diagnosed with COVID, and everybody's actually not that disappointed. I mean, we got close with Boris, but then he went and got yeah. better. And then right. Trump, he were he were on on his way. Well, the first time looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as, as far as killing mass murderers goes, it's not been very successful, has it? Whoever released <laughs> COVID, they, they probably yeah. need to rethink their strategy <laughs> yeah. if that's how they're going about right. destroying you think about that? I mean, it, if the person who released it is a serial killer, right, they've managed but to kill yeah, yeah. people in this yeah. country. Sutcliffe only killed 13. <laughs> I mean, you, you you go only. I I think that the families of those thirteen <laughs> only women are pro- probably considered more than an only. But yes, uh, in well, the I, grand I, I, con- I consider myself chastised. <laughs> Sorry that he's not as good as you, Roger, with your sixteen kills. <laughs> <laughs> but how well, weird that he killed thirteen people and he died on Friday the thirteenth. 
That's creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh. What, wake up, people. It's all <laughs> wake up, people. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, quite, Tuck, it's quite Peter Tutcliffe. There's 13 letters in his name as well, isn't there? Oh, I just yeah. made that out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm oh. just counting them now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I generally believe that. Oh my God, there is. <laughs> no, there isn't. It. There's 14. <laughs> but has anybody seen the body? I thought I'd uncovered this, the conspiracy. I think a few people might have spat on it already. If, there, if there's no one's seen the body, then there's no body, so he might still be alive. Yeah, yeah. Can I right. just, yeah, but I don't on. think they he would he just right, he was in prison where he was being watched quite heavily. I don't think he just went poof. Ah, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where he is. He must be. Shit, what happened? Him. <laughs> Can I just bring I mean, up a point about serial killers in general? Like, oh, I, always, yeah. I always find it a bit weird whenever you get one day, and they're always described as like Britain's worst serial killer. And you think, well, actually, he did. As a serial killer, he did pretty well. <laughs> yeah, but he got caught. Cool. Got caught. Cool. The ones that what, have done well are me? the ones that are still getting away with it. They're like the worst. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah, I never thought about that. I was thinking well, more into the numbers. They call them serial killers, yet none of them got the honey monster. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my nickname. People used to call me that in the pub. And I'm still very much monster. alive. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so big, ginger, and hairy. <laughs> Wait, so he's a serial killer or still a honey monster? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a serial killer. That's what a serial killer would say. Exactly. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> True. But to be and fair, I, if you saw uh, me from the waist down, you could you would know that I am not into anything that requires energy or effort of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> so you say this is something that was put on earlier, and Michael Griffiths is saying. Uh, I missed it. I didn't miss it. It just, I didn't think it was worth it at that point in the show. However, it fits in perfectly <laughs> at this point in the show. By the way, afterwards, uh, with this round, be called the good, the bad, and the utterly stupid. I'm definitely going to call the Sutcliffe news story the bad because serial killers are. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Mr. Matthew. Well, no, he's he there. If anybody takes anything away from tonight's show, serial killers are bad. Take that away from you. <laughs> if you let anything come tonight. <laughs> Is it? Roger doesn't yeah. quite know how this system works and <laughs> serial killers are bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like stating the obvious in that case. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, Michael Griffiths has said they're asking what Biden looks like as a fruit as Trump was an orange. In a survey today, what fruit does Biden look like? Biden looks like a banana that's gone a little <laughs> bit overripe. <laughs> so, Just uh, been left yeah. in your fruit bowl a little bit too long, so it's got a little bit of mottled brown. So are you but saying the only thing he's good for is making banana bread? <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know how good a, a president he's going to be. He, he might make fabulous banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if, if I don't know if you've been watching the new spitting image, if that's anything to go by, he's a great cook. <laughs> I think he, he looks quite, like a cup old, of he? He's he's quite um, old. So I'm guessing he's 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 a bit wrinkly, like a prune, maybe. Yeah, I've I've, I've got a feeling this may be one of the first presidential turns in a while where we may get the vice president taking over. <laughs> I think that was always the plan, though, wasn't it? That was always the plan. I, I don't think he's even gone into it thinking he's going to last four years. He's gone, I've got probably, I've got six months in me. I'll spend them fucking Trump, and then I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, that I'm, Now he's bringing it down. <laughs> he's, he's only 77, isn't he? He's 78. Like, 78. Yeah, but look yeah. at the queen. She's 150, and she's still going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at Roger. a robot. He's, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll be all right. He'll, do, he'll probably do two terms. And uh, speaking be... of the Queen, right? Has anybody seen Prince Philip recently? Because I think he died about 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know why that one's well, popped that explains up. I do apologize. No, <laughs> well, right. we, we have a suggestion in uh, that PlayStation 5 launch disaster. Geez, what happened there? 
happened there? Well, send it into I, space or something. I'll <laughs> watch more news than the rest of us. Yeah. I, I, and the only, I, the only thing you can think about is being launched during a pandemic. Like when so in this country, especially when one lockdown, can you actually go out and buy a PlayStation? Oh, they must be essential. It, yeah. 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 It's a great time. But to the thing is, really, ev- everybody yeah. else that's in lockdown hasn't stopped wanking enough yet to go and buy one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm still doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think my hands off. The screen's a bit wobbly, though. <laughs> <laughs> And Tony hasn't even got any pants on. We've already established that, so he's sorted. I think we've established none of us have got pants on. I have. <laughs> I made them myself. <laughs> yeah, so is that what you've been doing for the show? Just knitting I'm, down. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to show and tell. <laughs> right, it's, I got here. So are, are we all admitting that we don't really know what this news story was? Presumably, no, we ain't yeah. got a clue what it was. Oh, we've come you, back to being naked. comment as to what we should have been saying on this? I wasn't going to admit it. I was just going to hope that it went away, which is how I deal with all of life's problems. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> seen, seen we mentioned Prince oh, Philip. please, someone was listening to me. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got we've got an answer. Uh, we've got an answer from Al Grant. Oh, what what's a bricked console? It's what happens when someone steals the wheels off it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, it sounds like they've been shipping consoles that don't seem to be uh, functioning as described. Surprise, no. surprise. Oh. oh, and a lot more. I mean, it, it could be anything. And that's so, quite uh, mysterious, though. <laughs> and a lot more. What could that be? And a lot more. <laughs> They're poisonous. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they've got COVID. Radioactive. <laughs> exactly. They come so, with a free have, Trump supporter. <laughs> have Have any of you got a news story you'd like like to discuss? No. Um, I don't. Yeah. Is Piers Morgan still alive? Because <laughs> <laughs> if not, there's probably not worth talking about his death yet. Yeah. I now, mean, do you know at the start of lockdown when? Uh, uh, when all the toilet rolls sold out, <laughs> yeah. I did a joke, and it was the Pierce Morgan autobiography, and I put, I've run out of toilet roll, and I've got this, but I'm disappointed because the page is already full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so that point where it started making sense at one point. <laughs> You know, that's a bad day, though. When you get up and you agree with Piers Morgan, <laughs> that, that, that is when you need to go and have a word with yourself. Because there are days when he actually does talk more sense, not sense, but just more sense than the other idiots that are on there. And you're like, what the fuck? That's, that's why I do the smart thing and sleep until about half nine until Lorraine's on. <laughs> is she still going? Bloody hell. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't feel as bad when you agree with Lorraine. <laughs> no, she's quite nice, isn't she? Yeah, she's yeah. Nice. I think I think one of the biggest disasters for lockdown is that we uh, we lost. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm showing my age here. Mine's gone blank. The idiot who used to be on with all the people off the, uh, uh, you know, who went in and said you've run off with my boyfriend and doing lie detector tests. Jeremy, Jeremy Kyle. Kyle. Jeremy Kyle. That's the one. Oh my God! Has he died? No, no, he didn't he die. Off TV because one of his contestants died. Yeah, that was last year, wasn't it? That was before yeah. lockdown. That was yeah, ages last year. Ago. Actually, you should have called them contestants. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I used to live in Dewsbury, which is near Leeds, and most of the people on there came from Dewsbury. And <laughs> he used to just turn up with a minibus, like once, <laughs> yeah. once every couple of weeks. So, like, two hundred and fifty quid in a packet of fags. Who's in? No, but to be fair, Jeremy Carl is a bit like a game show, but instead they don't get points, they just get chlamydia. <laughs> they, they don't win a prize, they get counselling. <laughs> they get, they get rehab. rehab. Yeah, that's the top prize, rehab. Well and, done. And, and Beardy Graham will have a nice chat with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we, we've had enough of suggestion for you, so we'll have to make this one quick because oh, I want to God, squeeze this... another round in. Right, knife qu- crime. How can we ban knives? Right, I think that's Life quite discriminatory against knives. 
Well, Obviously. if you if you provide everything that's already sliced, so pizza, <laughs> um, bread, bread's already there, so yeah, yeah, bread's, already. bread's already sliced. Um, and yeah, and make everything tear and share. You don't need knives. And just spread your butter <laughs> with a spoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just eat it out the tub. Yeah. Dip your I bread don't... in the butter. And then give everyone magnets to walk around the streets with. So if someone goes to tackle and go, hey, and punk, thank you, free knife, go home. <laughs> free knife. Well, so obviously, obviously, to uh, solve knife crime, we need government cutbacks. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the best I can think of. <laughs> no, 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 I've got it. I've got it. To tackle knife crime, bring out more guns. That will solve the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, that it's, will work. It's nice to see yeah. your humours nice and sharp, uh, Tony. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. I always oh, thought cutting. Was that thought was very the, cutting. Uh, <laughs> to the point. Right to the oh, point. I always <laughs> thought the, uh, the obesity crisis was um, was evolution in progress. We're all getting fatter to become stab proof. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. That's what I use. I can't get fat because I'm short. I'll just be a bowling ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fat people what? never get got by serial killers. Where, where so the people? <laughs> does that mean you've got three? I'm not going to go. Well, there you go with that. Yeah, I was yeah. Just thinking, if you're like a bowling ball, does that mean you got three holes? <laughs> I I would have automatically I'll let you gone find for tonight, the eyes mate. and the mouth. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to our final round. So, uh... it's called "I Predict a Riot." So, before we start on this round, I'm going to ask each of you to say, I predict a riot. So we'll start with George first. Oh, no. <laughs> Best voiceover voice. I predict a riot! Done in the style of Brian Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I got what you want, you know. Oh, I read that book, Blessed. Brian Blessed. Let, let's go to Katie. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I predict a riot! And Tony. How am I? I've got to do this just as in a voiceover. Voice. Hang on. I predict a riot. That was Ooh. well creepy. Yeah, that was very creepy. Now, if we're doing the Halloween show, which about, we've missed I predict a riot! <laughs> <laughs> a little mouse riot. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, out of those three, I think it was George who uh, did the most interesting. Oh, I one. can't believe I didn't beat George. For fuck's sake! I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> can I have another go? I predict a riot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I predict a riot. I, I got another one. I predict a riot. It'll be the greatest riot ever. You know, I predicted. <laughs> I, I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I predict a riot. Anyway, let's uh, let's get let's so, get on. Uh, just oh, uh, we 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 we've got we've got one of our, our one of our viewers joining in on the puns from the knife. Uh, he must have asked the question. Hey. So he come up with his own. <laughs> That's a whole reason he asked. <laughs> there you go. I'll give you a rim shot. <laughs> oh, look at you! you! Don't get an awful like that every day, do you? <laughs> so you probably can't uh, do me on this show. <laughs> oh, I've been told. I've been told by Al Grant. No, no, Al. Thanks, wrong, Al. Thanks, Al. You're wrong. Well, actually, I'll listen on, back to the show go. afterwards. I the riot! <laughs> <laughs> Are you just going to keep doing this until you win? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't Channeling, know. Calm down. Channeling oh, Monty Python. So, anyway, I predict a riot. <laughs> Anyone <laughs> tuning in at this moment in time will be thinking. This is meant oh, to be no, I've got one more. I've got one more. George, hang on. George has got one more. A riot, I predict. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the Yoda uh... one. The Yoda one. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, this, this round, I'm going to ask each of you to make a prediction. It could be somebody to add to the Blue Suede News Deadpool I, someone who may pass away in the next 12 months, <sighs> or a prediction of what will happen in the next 12 months. And what we'll do as the 12 months go on, we'll see whether any of our predictions come true. 
So one prediction from each of you. And I'm going to go to Tony first. Oh, a prediction. Uh, what was, so I can predict someone, someone's going to die. You can <laughs> well done. Or an yeah. event. Or an event. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Uh, Such as Prince Andrew having a baby. This is what I think, actually, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if any of you are particularly <clears throat> football fans uh, at all, but um, Scotland won a penalty shootout last night to qualify for their first international tournament in 22 years. And I just think, uh, with Scotland's luck, uh, the European Championships next year are bound to get called off again because of COVID. So they'll have qualified in vain. That's uh, that's my prediction. The European Championships will get will get called the European off. Championships will be called off. Yeah, and Scotland right. still won't okay. qualify. Bloody hell! Go steady on that keyboard, Roger. <laughs> hey. He's not. He's wine kid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who wants to go next? Hands up. Okay. Uh, George first then. Yeah. I've got two, so I'm going to go with either it's going to be a general election next year in the UK. I can Ooh. see that. Ooh. Or Jeremy Corbyn's going to die. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, well, what I'll do, I'll, I'll add Mr. Corbyn then to the, uh, because I don't think we've got Mr. Corbyn on the Deadpool. We haven't. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is the most furious typing I've ever heard. <laughs> He's doing a second job as a journalist. He's just filing some copy. <laughs> I know. We're going to see this in the Sun it's, newspaper tomorrow. It's, it's a proper newsroom, you see. I've got. I'm, I'm in a proper yeah. newsroom. It's not. It's not it's a green a screen. Backdrop. It's not a keyboard. Ding 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 ding. So uh, anyway, and moving on to Katie, can I have um, a prediction, I, please? I think the Queen's going to die. <laughs> we've we've already got that on oh, the dead. Prince Philip. How can you even suggest a thing? Off because with her head. Because he's fucking old. You, and you, <laughs> can, you, can, you can have Prince. You can have Prince. Have, oh, no, I don't. Talked, I mean, Prince Philip. Sorry, we've already, we've already got, got, got Prince Philip. Oh, Harry. Trump. I reckon <laughs> Trump will be assassinated then. Oh, we Trump. haven't got Donald Trump. Uh, do you, where do you think he's going to be assassinated? Where in in the head? <laughs> I think I think yeah, it's going to be sex games gone wrong, and they'll find yeah. him. <laughs> well, you know, you know what the rumor is about where Trump's going to end up once he's been booted out of the White House by the security. Asylum. Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, golf club. That'd be a good course. excuse to close the borders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then Scotland can have their independence. Then they can have their independence and Trump. But I didn't know until I watched the interview on the other day. World. Joe Biden is actually part Irish. He's got a cousin that lives in Ireland. So he could actually come over here. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've had an Al Grant oh. comment. He says, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. "I did. I was going to go over there at the time, and I thought I better skirt over it. But I'm glad yeah. that Al has just nipped in there with it." To say yeah, it's not the first you time people said about Andrew. Not yeah. going to clarify it. <laughs> it's open no, it's... to interpretation. That's very clever. <laughs> no, it's not the first time Man. concerning Prince Andrew. People go, said, "I was going to go there, and then it changed my mind." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, having a baby would be no sweat. Um. <laughs> Just to wind Alex up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, believe it or not, we have come to the end of the show. What? So uh... I, would, I would like to thank the people who have been watching. I would yeah, also like thanks. to thank the people who are going to watch on Catch Up because we're on Facebook and oh, YouTube, wow. and people get to watch this after the event. Hello, future and, people. Uh... Hi. Yeah. Welcome. This is what so, I uh... look like in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to and 2022. For those people who haven't watched it live, please join us on a Friday night at 9 p.m. Uh, we'll be on yeah, again next watch Friday Google with Book, a new like on plus one catch up. Yeah, yeah. Right, but you, you'll have to watch it on catch up then. I'm talking about Gogglebox, not uh, our show. <laughs> 
So, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's it's lovely for everyone who has watched tonight and those who are going to watch. And uh, I will uh, I'll just ask my guests if they've got anything they want to plug. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll go to Tony Carrots first. You can plug out your website or a project you're doing or anything you want. Oh, sorry, I've, I've completely misunderstood this part of the show. So here's a quick plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was going to do the same. <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, nothing much to plug, really. But um, uh, oh, let me try and do it the right. Oh, I can never do this. But my name there at Tony Cowards is my Twitter handle. <laughs> God, I still can't do it. It's there. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, I can't do that. Look me up on <laughs> You have to point the wrong way, don't you? That's it. Yeah. Oh, while we're pointing at things, before I just go to the others, uh, <laughs> we, we, do, we do have a PayPal me account if anyone wants oh, yeah, to send PayPal. tips. I'll do that one. And, any tips <laughs> yeah. will be split four ways, right? Uh, I understand that it's, it's children in need tonight. They uh, don't need it. Screw that. They don't need it. No, we're, we're, we're comedians in need. We need a gig. Yeah. Yeah, and, no, there's and, all this pent up laughter just waiting to come out. <laughs> I've seen how funny we are. Imagine what we're like live. <laughs> so there you go. If you yeah. miss it, just when it's uh, when it's on catch up, just scroll back and you'll be able to find the uh, reference. But it's paypal.me forward slash Roger Poulter. Oh, so there you go. Anyway, let's move on to uh, we'll, we'll go backwards. We'll go Katie next. Yeah, that is pretty backwards. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, not not really got anything to plug. I'm doing a new YouTube channel, but I am. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I am. It's not, it's not easy, is it? It's hard. That, no, it's not. And I've just perfected it. And then I put my hands down and they. Work. There you go. Hey, well, it's not yeah. easy for me because my hand goes off the screen. <laughs> this is where we um, find out we're all in different positions there anyway. Different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You can find me doing all sorts on Katie Does Comedy on uh, YouTube, and that's probably where you'll find me on Insta uh, and Facebook. I, I don't know how it all works, but I'm there somewhere. So, yeah. Okay. Super. <laughs> Did I sell it and well? Let's, let's, let's move on to George Copen. Uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook at George Copen, actor and comedian, and I'm on Instagram at Copen1412. So it's Facebook, George Coppin, actor and comedian, where I post all my gigs. And I'll be posting a gig soon. I'm waiting for Roger to send me the and tell me for my free week. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yeah, on Instagram, I just post. Edited yet. <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> I just post personal and professional stuff. So yeah, Instagram, Coppin1412, uh, Facebook, George Coppin, actor and comedian. Yeah. Uh, George, just just before you say you've finished, uh, Alex oh, yeah. is hinting. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Sunday, I am on Awkward Question Time uh, with Alex Leem. So if you just go to Alex Leem's YouTube or Facebook, uh, don't know if it's on Twitter, it might be on Twitter, uh, <coughs> then you can catch it on there. Uh, Alex, can I come back on, on Awkward Question Time, please? It's been too long. Tony, have you been yeah. on it? You should get on it. I miss it. It's your plea. <coughs> yeah. yeah, and I'll, 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 I'll have Alex. to go back on. Yeah, I'll come on your <laughs> Awkward Question Time as well. Roger, which show is better, this one or that one? <laughs> no, this, this one, this one, this one's much better. But uh, if, I'm, if I'm not doing this one, which I'm not on a Sunday evening, that's the best show on a Sunday evening. <laughs> After Country File. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had cows on this show. <laughs> I'm I'm getting a little... <laughs> that's not very nice to Tony. <laughs> you <are>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Al. So, uh, thank so you, Al. Yep, thank you, Al. And uh, Michael Griffiths has said bye. Thank you, Michael. See you later. Bye. What very polite viewers. Yeah. So, uh, so you and, don't uh, get that yeah. on uh, Children in Need. Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> Children in Need. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, you don't. Uh, it's it's great to have feedback, and if uh, if anyone's watching on catch up, please join us live so you can actually join in, say hello, and uh, we'll like uh, Roger's page. Where is he? Yeah, yep, 
You can you can either find me you know, <laughs> us on Roger Poulter or on YouTube. I can see the stage from here. So you uh, did it every Sunday naked. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's and time. And if you pay him, he'll put his clothes back on. Have <laughs> <laughs> <Having> money. <laughs> So, I've uh, got a yeah. few drama me in my head going, shut up and take my money. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I've, Roger, I've been Roger Poulter. Thank Roger, you to wait, my guests. Wait, it's been an honour to be on the sh- You said earlier at the end you were going to say who is the funniest and who's won. Oh, did I? You did, yeah. Well, I didn't award no. any points because on this show, points... <laughs> Fuck all! <mean> Fuck all! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think you've all been equally as wonderful. Can I just do oh, my magic trick before out. I go? Oh. 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 <laughs> See, there's nothing, there's nothing in there. Tony, if the comedy works out, you could be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's only one more thing. It's uh, it's time for the closing credits.